Hey, it's Nick here from Grayscale Gorilla, and I'm here with Chad Ashley. Chad, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, I called you up because I saw your neon render that you put out. We uh, we recently put out this neon alphabet, and you had this awesome render of like the one, two, three, four, five in neon on black plastic. Uh, and I figured I wanted you to show me how in the heck you made it, some of the subtle tricks and tips to remake this thing from scratch using those letters. And it's gonna be in record time, Chad. I'm feeling I'm feeling excited. I got some coffee in. Are you ready to show me this stuff? All right, let's do it. Let's jump in. All right, here we are in Cinema 4D. Can you see my screen? All right. Yep, gotcha. All right, so I'm gonna set up the basics here because I, I got this far. Uh, we're gonna go to the new models. Uh, if you're a Plus member, by the way, these models are new. You can get them in the Grayscale Gorilla Hub. And we got these neon letters and everyday models and these fun doodads. Uh, today we're just messing with neon, but um, just want to let you know they're here. Uh, let's go down and spell neon. I think that'd be real simple to do. Uh, N, there's two N's in neon, so let's grab two of those. Let's grab an O while we're here. And I'm grabbing the extended ones, I'm thinking, uh, just because it's a, a short uh, word here. And if you have longer word, the, the condensed uh, works better. All right, let's grab an E. Double click for E. And now that we got neon, I'm guessing, Chad, that you used uh, the align tools to distribute all this stuff. Yep. Is that? Yep. So just kind of like rough it out, you know, like drag them. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just like rough it out just to see. Just like space it roughly yep. across here. Neon. All right. Perfect. And then just grab the align tool, which is going to be under your grayscale gorilla menu. And I usually like I usually will uh, rip that menu off by hitting the little ribbon at the top just so we can keep it around if we want to use it again. Gotcha. Um, so let's go ahead and hit distribute X, which is going to distribute them evenly through that through that selection. Uh, but I, I think we have I it in too tight space. Right now. Yeah, so, <laughs> so just tighten it out. Uh, not just too much. Ex distribute X. Perfect. Ooh, that's a little better. All right, so uh, the only difference, the only thing that I would maybe tweak on this is maybe hand tweak. Yeah, exactly. Add a so little like bit more this. space. That's perfect. Yeah, because because each letter has, um, just a note for everybody, because each letter has a different um, spacing, sometimes mono-spaced neon will be a little crunchy. So just grab it and space it out. What's cool about neon also is it's handmade uh, anyway, like most neon is handmade. So you can get a little... Um, it could be a little off and it actually looks okay. Um, so I just encourage everybody if you're following along to like do it till it looks good straight on and then it should look good however you look at it. How's this look? Uh, how's my kerning, Chad? Nah, it's, <laughs> it's good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Let's make all right, this so, thing look good. What's next? All right. So I think we need to put a like a, a we're going to do that shiny wall background. So I'll go ahead and add a background wall. You can. Yeah, you can throw that away. We don't need that. So grab a plane, set it to. Uh, yeah. Positive or. Yeah, that's fine, too. And then um, it should just already be lined up perfectly for your neon. Look right at there. that. It's already set up. Perfect. Yep. So it's, it's good there. Um, now we're just going to set up our camera because I think that's going to be the next kind of important thing. And when I was doing these neon renders, um, one thing that I noticed and how people are used to seeing neon signs are really far away up in the air on a sign, right? Mm -hmm. So we need, we know we want to put a pretty long lens on it because that's typically how you're looking at a neon. You have a long lens, maybe you're zoomed in from the street. So let's grab like a camera. Looking at it from below or something Exactly, like that. exactly. And that really helps tell the viewer like, oh, uh, this is a neon sign up in the air, potentially up on a wall. And it just, it helps sell the entire effect. That's so, true. You're, you're rarely looking down on neon. It's always exactly up, on a wall or up on a sign. Okay, so... Let me do my uh, redshift setup here real quick for those of you following along. By the way, this uh, the, this layout, we have a video on how I set this layout up. If you want to follow along, we'll put it up here on YouTube. It's just all this, how I dock all this stuff. Um, but let's turn on redshift. Uh, let's go to render settings, redshift. Um, the redshift menu should pop up. Um, if it doesn't, make sure you go to edit, preferences, redshift, and turn this on and leave it on for me. Do me a favor. Turn on Redshift main menu, and then every time you turn on Redshift, it'll open this up. You have access to all your stuff, including cameras. So I'm going to add a new camera, and I'm going to pop back out. And uh, now that I got a camera, Chad, what, what should we do next? I mean, I think I would use uh, our lens tools and make it 100 mil um, just so that it, it 
feels a little bit more like what we were talking about. Yep. Yeah. And I would kind of just like if we're going to do like a close up, that's a great angle right there that you've already got. Uh, if you wanted to like, you know, make it a little bit further away, that feels pretty good too. But you can already see it's starting to feel like you're you're maybe zoomed in on this like neon sign that's up on a wall or something, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So that's that's looking pretty darn good to me. So let's go ahead and um, uh, we'll mess around with the bouquet later, but for now we'll just kind of leave it. All right, so now we need to throw some neon on our neon tubes. So every every letter set here has a neon tube in it, and it's I think believe I believe it's even named tube. So yeah. if you now if we want to just like go into the plus library and grab a neon that you like a neon material. All right, so I'm gonna click on materials. I'm gonna go down to neon, and I got octane redshift. You want to make sure you pick the right one. We're using redshift today. All right, we got some nice colors. Now, I kind of like how yours had different neon on each one. Um, at least the render I saw that kind of started this whole video. Yeah. Um, is that all right? Can we can we try that look? See if we could pull it off? Yeah, let's first, uh, let's just get one set up the way that we like it. And then we got can it. just really easily swap it out for other colors. Okay, cool. So how do we get this on each of these tubes? Do I have to drag so it in each one separate? No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna well you could do that. Actually jump over to your object manager and under the little search tab there, yep, you had it right there. Search. You're gonna type in tube. And you can literally just start dragging colors onto your onto your tubes. Ooh. Do you uh do you want me to do one first or do you want me to do random? I think, you know, whatever you want. We could try it, we could do it that way, but if we need to edit the actual uh, material, we'll have to jump into each one individually. Okay, let's do classic red first, and then if we have time, we'll 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 mix it up. Yeah. Um, all right. So there you go. Neon done, right? Yeah. And then we're gonna <laughs> set up our we're gonna set up our Perfect. background. Uh, you you also need to turn off um, the default light, and that's kind of an annoying uh, thing <laughs> that Redshift does. Um, all right. So that's under render settings. Redshift. I mean, uh, if you if you want to do the quick and dirty way. I just grab a light and bring it in there and bring its intensity. But I, I do this too. I do this too, by the way, I'll grab a, a dome light and um, I got to undo my search here and then I'll just turn off the intensity hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. That that's, same that's, thing, right? yeah it's, I mean, that's a quick and dirty way to do it. This is a fast okay. tutorial. So, you know, we just have All right, to, let's go, to let's go that. fast tutorial mode. Uh, All we right. Gotta so add this plastic in the back here. Yeah, let's add our plastic and we'll worry about the uh, the plugs and stuff a little bit later. So let's grab a um, just like a regular Redshift standard surface material. Material standard. Got yep. it. I'm and throw on that on there. there. And the, the, really, the only thing that you want to mess with on this is uh, make the color kind of dark gray. And uh, did it apply it? I can't tell. Did it? Act? I don't think you have your plane turned off. Oh, I don't there know what got. happened there. So now just grab that, um, grab that material and we're going to yep. make it a little bit uh, more reflective. So we're going to bring the IOR up from five to maybe like three. Oh, I see. So even turning down the roughness, it didn't, it didn't really make it as glossy as I thought. So where right. am I doing this? IOR? Uh, yeah, just bring your IOR up or you could bring the metalness up. It's really up to you. It's just for this particular look. This will be an easier way to get a little bit more Ooh, already dude already this is cool look at that and then we're going to um yeah, let's add a little bit of roughness to it so it's not like a perfect one-to-one -one. so a little bit of roughness in that reflection of that plane i think will help us a lot not a whole lot because we want it to look you know still pretty shiny but yeah somewhere in there so now um there's a couple different things that we could do but we're going to increase the intensity of our neon so jump into your red neon material yeah. And we're going just to double click it, by the way, if you're following along, double click yeah. it in your menu here and it'll open up. Uh, all right. So from How here, right this thing up. So grab the actual material itself, which will be right there. And under emission, if you kind of I think it's under overall. So go overall. to overall and just crank that emission weight to like, I don't know, whatever feels right to you. Ooh, That's looking high. pretty good. So. Uh, that's looking pretty, pretty good. Now, the next thing I would do is start to maybe zoom out a little bit and we can 
mess with the glow a little bit to get that glow the way we want it. Ooh, this is this is already cute. Look at that. Yeah, love it. All right, All right. so now jump into your uh, your Redshift um, uh, the IPR render thing. <laughs> I forget what they call it. Now, oh do you God. do it on the camera? Is it any different to do it here? It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't okay. matter. So for those of you following along, I I tend to use lens effects and then do these settings in here. And then if uh, if you're telling me what I'm thinking, you're telling me, Chad, this menu, which I could find just by opening this up, go to here. Yeah. This menu does the same thing. Right. Yeah. But the difference is that you could have a separate, you could have a different one. If you did it th your way on the camera, then you could have multiple cameras that have different um, settings. And this and is I like more global. And I believe that, I, I believe that you can, you know, don't quote me. I, I don't, I don't use it that often. So I, I feel like I'm going to misspeak, but yeah, your way is fine. Like that's totally fine. You can just like, All right, well, we can, what do you, what, where should we do it? Let's do it here. Uh, is fine. it bloom? Yep. Turn on bloom and br bring that threshold like way, way down because our neon really isn't that bright. Ooh. And then it's just a matter of like, um, you, you probably don't want your bloom threshold to be absolutely zero. Maybe like try to like find a, yeah, there you go. And then um, the softness is really like whatever feels right. Like if we think it's a really, if it's like a foggy night, then you probably want a little bit more softness because it's breaking up more atmosphere. If it's not, then maybe you want it to be tighter and then you can play with that bloom intensity to where it feels right. But you can see our neon materials, they have like a little bit of noise in them. So they're not like a solid. Yeah. So it's not like a solid uh, intensity of neon throughout the entire letter set. Um, so, all right, that's looking pretty good. Um, I Ooh, think I like that. we could now zoom in a little bit and maybe add a little bouquet. If yeah, you want I want to, to add like, that material too to this thing. I think if this stuff was reflecting a little bit more too, I think it would yeah. help these little details. Well, so, let's do that really quick. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and go back to our search. And I think you're going to search for uh, rubber in the mid. Yep. Okay, so you want? Let's find the material first. So let's go sure. to materials, all rubber. Yep. You can change your renderer right there in the library from all to Redshift, and that way it'll filter uh, out. Uh, so I might grab the first rubber there. That's probably fine. And you can add that to your scene. So I can open up materials. I could drag it in there. And then I'm assuming we just type in rubber into yep. here, and all the rubbers will show up. All yep. right, there we go. Let's add this to all these. I'm going to use control just to drag and drop it onto these other ones. And so now yep. all the rubbers are there. All right. So that's cute. We got rubber. And then can we, should we do the same with the metal pieces? Yep, we're going to do the same exact thing with metal and maybe, I don't know, pick a metal that you think best represents. Um, What's your go-to? You know, I don't think it needs to be all cro like rusted and stuff, but what's your, what's your uh, good, like clean blingy metal? I will I've been using some... gun metal. But that's is a there good one. a better one? No, that's fine. You like that one too? Yeah, that one works. All right. Let's try that one. Uh, added it to the materials here. And then this one's, I think, called metal. Let yeah. me show you a trick here. Instead of having Ooh. to drag, just yeah. go grab all those objects. Yep. And right click on that material. Shut up. And hit apply. Shut up. Ah, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I, did. I didn't know that. Dude, Dude, sometimes you've, you've been I have doing like, it. You've been dragging it this whole time. Oh my god! Sometimes I have like forty letters on there. I'm like, there's got to be. I knew there was a better way, but I just imagined it was in this menu. I didn't want to look it up. It's just quicker to do it sometimes. <laughs> oh my god! All right, that's great. Okay, All so right. so there you go. And um, thank you, Chad. Make, it, let's it, just it, save my life right there. All right. So, so another thing you could do now that you kind of have this set up this way is you could put in an HDRI that might actually like uh, like a city night HDRI or something um, to catch into that metal. Because right now, the only thing that's really going to be um, reflecting is the is the letter back onto itself. Um, so sometimes it's kind of cool to like find an HDRI that has like a night vibe to add a little bit more something something to it. OK, so I already have the dome light on. We just got to turn it back up here. Yep. And go ahead and grab HDRI link. 
And yeah, we'll drag texture in the drop zone. If you're a plus member, you just drag texture in the drop zone. Make sure you have drop zone installed and docked in your interface. It'll auto add HDRI link. Um, and oh, then it looks you like click... our neon is like offset from the wall too. We have to fix that. Yeah, we got to move the wall a little bit closer. I thought it was on. Oh, I yeah, must yeah, have moved the wall moved at it. some point. There All you right, go. Sorry, folks. There we go. Um, then we go to HDRIs and we got some outdoor. European Holiday has a cool outdoor nighttime one. Yep, that's a perfect one. That's exactly what I was thinking. I think it's uh, called like the Sidewalk or something. Yeah, Sidewalk at night. And then I just usually tone this down. And But it has the right colors, right? Like it's got street lights and mm -hmm. like I'm in a little city here. Um, all right, let's what tone this down, I'm guessing. Yeah, just bring it way, 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 way down. And rotate it. I don't really want that reflection in there. No. Definitely not. And just like try to find a rotation where you maybe catch Ooh, something catch interesting. A little, little bling here. Yeah, that's looking good. I like seeing oh, a little bit of that blue go. at the top. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I got a little reflection. That looks nice. Yeah, looks good. All okay. right, so now let's throw some bokeh. Let's this. go bokeh. Uh, all right. Um, now I use this focus null thing. Is that is that what you do too? I grab a null, I call it focus, and then in the camera, uh, if you're following along with the new Redshift camera, they just updated this camera. It's right here in optical, and I think it's in a, it might be an object in older versions of Redshift, just if you're following along. Um, but here in optical, there's object, and then you just drag in your focus null into the object, and then wherever you put this focus null, it will be in focus. What what do you want to be in focus, Chad? What's the? I think I would like um, just put like the the bar of that e like uh, here. Yeah. All right. So I'm I'm gonna use my focus null trick, which I love. I still love it. I'm gonna grab my place tool, and I'm just gonna <laughs> drag around until it's on the e, and I'm done. Uh, now I gotta go in the camera and turn on uh lower my aperture because it's nighttime right i'm gonna exactly. have a i'm gonna have a little bit more open aperture to capture this lower light neon's not that bright it's uh you know you kind of have to open up your camera and then uh you got to turn on bokeh and look at that we already got a little, a little yeah now there. zoom in a little bit and we we should see it fall out oh, of focus oh yeah baby there you go Ooh, that's cute Love this. All right. So let's, um, so this, I mean, this is it. If you're following along, you, you got the basics here. Do it with different letters. Uh, I do want to follow up with, all right, let's shift all of these colors. Okay. And I'm just quickly going to tighten a little bit of this up for a final render because, you know, that's, that's what my eyes see. And I'm seeing a little bit tighter on the neon just to, just to do it. And then let's, let's do the multicolor kind of vibe yeah and then uh and then we'll be done is that all right sounds good let's do it okay so uh where do i go i gotta go back to materials all right is there um a color theory i should be worrying about with these neons or do they all kind of work together what's your thought i mean you keep it all warm i kind of think you could uh like go red yellow red yellow that might look kind of cool all right let's do that so let's do yellow on e uh so i'm just i open up all these here i'm just gonna drag it in uh in here and then drag it on top of e which is up top here point and then i'll do the same one and drop it on top of what do you say the second n is it this one mm -hmm. i think so oh nope oops. that was the first one uh the first n is oop one more time. There it is. Okay, so oh, all right, I like that. Um, and then we may have to brighten these up. Actually, the brighter ye uh, yellow just kind of blends in with the red. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, that's not bad. We need to, that's not bad. We don't really need to crank it as much. I kind of feel like um, we should just do uh, four different colors. That might be fine. All right. So all if right. you did um, on the O, maybe try. Um, the green or the pink 
Yeah, let's try pink. I just double clicked it. It'll add it to your materials. And then O is pink now. Oh, and yeah, then this is for it. the N, maybe do blue. Uh, or blue or green. The, oh, the, last, the second the last N. N. Yeah, sorry. Let's do blue. And then I think the second N is first. Boink. Yeah, oh, that's go. it, Chad. That is it. All right. <laughs> it looks like a an 80s like shop. <laughs> Welcome to Club Neon. <laughs> uh all right um all right help me frame this thing up for a final render i think it needs a little bit more uh comp composition chad love and i think we're we're good for today what so here's what i would do like grab a null and yeah. uh throw that down and put all your letters into that null okay doing it and then copy it and put another neon sign right below it we're gonna have like a wall that says neon Oh, yes. I'll fill up the frame a little bit. And you want another one, one? Yeah, put another one above it and maybe like offset it so it's not like offset both of them so they're not like directly lined up. Yeah, I see what you mean. So, oh, you uh, know what you do? You take the you take the second one and you line up the E. So it says neon, looking down. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so. The bottom one moves over to E. That one, that one should move over to O. Wait, like this? Yeah, no, keep going the other way. <laughs> keep going the other way. So to, I want that first letter. Keep going. There oh, you go. And then move N the second e one. O N. Yeah, I want that second row to move so that it. Yeah, there you go. There I you see. go. Oh, cute. Okay, and now then, uh, yeah. we could copy can copy all three again. Yeah. And then make like a, a pattern. Cool. I don't know. Is that weird? Is that, yeah. Are we going too yeah. far? No, what do you no, think? That's fine. That's good. We're just kind of filling up the frame to make it interesting. And then picking like that one word that we want to be our hero. Like that looks pretty good. Yeah. That helps a lot. All right. I feel like. I feel like more more blur, but this is the downfall of me sometimes, Chad. I'm just like, let's crank, you know. Like, no, like I mean, I you could, my, but it I just got my DSLR and I just leave it on, you know, 1.4 at all times and get this look. But this is kind of where my head is. What do you think? Oh, I got to move my focus point too, by the way, because I moved all this stuff. We're just gonna move it to this E, and now we're now we're looking. Yeah, I think that's. I think I wouldn't go like any crazier with the depth of field on it because otherwise it just like it looks like a yeah, miniature readable. sign um but yeah that's looking good that's um that's i might even Thoughts. like i might brighten up that material <clears throat> uh the background uh plane i might make it more black and increase the ior even more to give it it'll even even more shininess got it so you darken it so it doesn't actually have a color mm -hmm. but then, then yeah crank the ior to try to get more of that reflection yeah maybe make it like four the you IOR. also mentioned like you could also crank the metalness which i'm just gonna try mm -hmm. oh i yeah, see you... it's actually making it a little bit darker um yeah you would have to make the color <clears throat> more white if you're going to use metalness which you totally could mm. do still right gotcha. um but it, it's kind of like the laws of pbr there but and then oh, just shoot. finding finding a I kind of I would kind of go less rough because then it feels more like a plexiglass like they typically will line these up with like plexiglass. Yeah, and now I'm getting a little bit of this HDRI blinging in here. I want to rotate it, but other than that Yeah, just find that out. find that sweet spot. Mm, that looks good. Okay, we got some metal blinging. All that extra neon helped the metal and rubber kind of stand out a little bit too, which was good. Um, I'm digging this. I'm going to dial down the uh, the glow a little bit. It's just a little, maybe a vignette would help, but I'm just going to dial that intensity down a little. Mm -hmm. It's a little, a little blingy I think you could, you could increase the exposure overall too. So if you go over to color uh, controls, in here yep color controls got it and uh just turn that on and then scroll down 
Uh, oh wait, they. Uh, you know what? I think I'm thinking of. Um, they must have moved it under optical. I haven't. Optical. I haven't used the new one yet. Yeah. So you can just like blow out the exposure a little bit, and oh, then cool. then go back in and mess with the curves to bring a little bit of that contrast back. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so now I can make it a little bit more. Oh, there's our there's our neon uh, nightclub right there, buddy. Yeah, just kind of push it. You know, it's neon. It's eighties. We're at the mall. I wish I spelled Chad. This would be your nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> That's I looking will. good. Yeah. That's looking good. I think uh, I think for final render, you might want to you know crank your render settings up a little. Uh, for those of you following along, with I know with neon and with depth of field, sometimes you got to move this up to high. But uh, you just do a do a check at medium. You might be okay, especially if you're animating it. But I think for a final still, you just crank up your render settings and you're good. This looks nice, man. I mean, you don't even uh, need GI in this. Like, you could turn that off and it'll go really fast. Yeah, that's true. There's not a lot of bouncing. It's just all little reflections, little glows. And this looks nice, man. Well, I think we did it, buddy. Thanks, as always. Uh, thanks for <laughs> bringing your neon knowledge uh, over here, which is uh, my new rap name, by the way, neon knowledge. <laughs> And uh, thanks for bringing it here. And uh, I always appreciate it. I'll bug you. I'll bug you um, soon for another render. Awesome, thanks, man. Chad. All right. Have fun. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Have a good one.